Morning everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. It is a balmy, cloudy day here in northern Idaho, but I'm getting ready to go out and check the trap line. Um, not quite the same without the mountain man, but I'm going to go check things, see if we have anything out there, and uh, take you along with me. As he always says, for those of you that aren't interested in um, Bible verse reading or praying, if you just want to jump ahead a minute or two, and uh, then I'll head into trapping. So I'm going to read a Bible verse this morning. This is part of my uh, <clears throat> devotions this morning. And it's Ephesians 4, 31 and 32. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. This resonates to me a lot because I watch a lot of people in life that are stuck. And um, bitterness, rage, and all those negative, angry, uh, things in life are a result oftentimes of unforgiveness and we hold ourselves bondage so I wanted to mention it this morning one of the best gifts that we can give ourselves is to forgive others not to mention that God tells us that we need to forgive others or he won't forgive us and the thing is though people people do us wrong all the time when we learn to forgive them we are freeing ourselves and removing the chains and if you out there have or struggle with this if you struggle with this forgiving people and remember when you forgive somebody that doesn't mean you have to have a relationship with them that just means that you've forgiven them you've released yourself from the bondage and you move on in your life there are people in this world that we need to forgive and not be around that's just the way it is um, but if you are struggling with this, if you go to treyerwilderness.com slash wronged, you will find the book um, by Erwin Lutzer. He's from Moody Radio. And the book is When You've Been Wronged, Moving from Bitterness to Forgiveness. It is one of the most fabulous books I've ever read on forgiveness. And um, I think it's really very worth reading. And it's also worth reading multiple times because you will see how you're healing as you read it multiple times. First time you read it, there'll be things that make you angry or bring your um, feelings to the surface. When you read it the second time, you start to have empathy and love toward these people that we need to forgive. And I know that that's hard to fathom in a lot of cases because some of the forgiveness that we need to put into place can be for very rough things. I've had to do a lot of forgiving in my life also. And um, it, it's very difficult, but at the same time, there's great freedom and reward in uh, forgiving people and releasing ourselves from bondage. So those are my thoughts for today. Um, I'm going to say some pray a prayer here and get on the trap line. Papa, I just thank you for all the blessings you give myself and my family, how you keep your hands wrapped around us. Thank you for giving the mountain man travel mercies yesterday as he was having problems with his truck. And uh, just thank you for always being there, always... Uh, Fulfilling your promises. I just ask that you be with all those that are uh, watching this and just love on them uh, Fill their needs whether it's healing love work Whatever whatever their needs may be just help them and encourage them and strengthen them in their walk and just thank you for uh, allowing them to be a part of uh, our community our ministry and what you've put on our hearts to do. We love you, we thank you for more than anything for what you're gonna do in each of our lives. And uh, may the mountain man's traps be full where he is and may they be full here and may they be full for everyone else that's out there trapping and on the trap line this year. Thank you for what you're gonna do in our lives. We ask this in your holy and precious name of Jesus, amen. Okay guys, I'm hitting the road. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm out here, and one of our traps that was on a drag uh, is snapped. 
So there's a lot of elk activity here and deer activity, so I'm not sure uh, what set it off, but uh, it's pretty undisturbed, so it makes me wonder if it wasn't a deer or an elk that just hit it. So I'm going to pull this out of here and uh, or reset it, I'm not sure yet, and then I'm going to move on. Hey guys, I'm back at the homestead. It was uneventful the rest of the trip. Um, it was an elk that uh, set that uh, set off. So um, I chose to pull it because when the mountain man gets back, our weather will be shifting and we will be resetting and uh, setting new sets, moving things around. So uh, I just pulled that and uh, see what happens tomorrow. Stay tuned though, he'll be back soon. And I know we'll start getting into them. Our hunting season ended on Sunday the 1st and uh, things are clearing out here so there's not as much pressure, not as much activity. Stuff was getting pushed all over the place so I know things will start shifting and changing here. So anyway, really glad you guys join us on this uh, journey on our trap line and with everything else we do. Wish you, so guys, you guys take care and God bless.